3D Printer OS. This is the first unboxing of a Kodak Portrait 3D Printer in North America, and I'm pumped to do it. Accessories. Cool. All right. So at first glance, this is a very sturdy unit. Uh, it's definitely bigger than an Ultimaker. Uh, definitely looks like something that can make bigger parts, for lack of a better term. Now that I've got this machine out the box, uh, first impressions, this is one of the prettiest printers I've actually seen. Um, you know, obviously there's tons of different ranges of what machines look like, but when it comes to like quality and just how like the industrial design is built, this is a very, uh, it's a very attractive printer. Uh, the first thing that kind of struck me is the test prints. So as you can see, this cone, it's dual extrusion. Um, I mean, if this printer actually can print this and this is what I'm going to get for quality, I have very high hopes and that, that's, that's what I'm looking to do. It doesn't look like a tchotchke or something, it's a throwaway part. Um, another thing that kind of really impressed me right off the bat, it's hard to see here, but they actually gave me two different build trays. Uh, one that I can use with BuildTac, which is in this plate right here, and, and one that's actually that I was able to put on the machine. Uh, and they're both beautiful, they're sturdy, they look like something that can heat up really well and, and kind of really have a maintained heat surface, so that's awesome. Uh, another thing that really, really stood out taking this printer out the machine is beyond these test prints, I'm going to just sneak across here, but you have these range of parts, and one of the ones in particular is this uh, Flex 98. Watching this thing flex, I'm really excited to actually put some of these filaments through the paces on this machine and see what holds up. So this machine, one of the first things you'll notice with the unboxing is it comes with two uh, in-house filaments. Now, Kodak has spent a ton of time manufacturing different filaments to make this thing plug and play. Now, the Kodak Portrait comes with two hot end stock. Uh, one is a Teflon based hot end, which you know is for your PLA, your lower temperature materials, your support machines. But then you also have an all metal hot end. That's meant for all the exotic materials. You want to do your ABS, you want to do kind of some of the fancier filaments, the harder to print. This machine is ready right now to plug and play and get started with these, these difficult to use materials. As with any machine, the very best part is powering it on. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. It's alive!